During the webinar today, you're going to be asked to uh, move different things around the screen, and we'll be talking about responses to open-ended questions. So you will see, sometimes you'll see a list, maybe not as clean as this, there'll be other things on the screen, but I'll be asking you to move around either words or other words, respond, response three, response one, response two, to rank them. And in order to do this, what we need to do is have our uh, select button on the screen. The way you do that is just take your cursor and click, left click the uh, select button where I am right now, and then you have your cursor to move around the screen. What I'm going to ask you to do as an example is I'm going to ask you, we're going to model how to put these responses in order from one to six. So obviously response one is not where it belongs, and let's see how we can do that. We're going to take the, the uh, cursor and put it right on top of response, and we're going to left click. The minute I do that, you can see the, um, the vision has changed, the, uh, the view has changed, and we now have a rectangle around it that has um, eight vertices, if you so to speak, or eight highlights around it. You also can um, see that the cursor has changed to a cross or two line segments that intersect. Once that cross is there and you left click, you can move it anywhere you want. So I'm going to move it up here where I want response one. The minute I move that off of or out of the box, notice the cursor changes. I no longer can move it if I'm off it and I don't have the little um, crosshairs there. So what I want to do now is I want to get the box away from that so I can go to the next one. All I do is left click and it's gone and I can't move that again until I go through the same process. So we want to uh, move response 4 down below response 3 so we can move response 2 up. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take my cursor, put it right on top of response 4, left click, notice the model changes. The minute I have the intersections there of my line segments, my lines, what I can do now is left click while it has that uh, model the cursor and move it anywhere I want. So I'm going to put response 4 below response uh, 3. If I move my cursor to the left, it changes to an arrow, left click, and it gets rid of that little box around it. Now I have to remove response 2. I go to response 2, I left click, I move it up, I take it out. The minute I'm out, I left click, it's no longer there. I need to move response 5 up here. I do the same process again, move it out, left click, move it on top of response 6, left click, move it up, and now I have a uh, responses in order from 1, 2, 3. Let me just show you a couple other things about moving. If I take my cursor and put it outside and left click, and you see dotted lines for me, I can encompass more than one uh, object at a time. I can do 1 to 3, I can do 1 to 4, I can do 1 to 5. What's ever highlighted, all of them stay highlighted, and I can put my, notice I put my cursor on any of these, and I get that little intersection again. And that way I can move all of them at one time if I so desired. If I come outside and left click, they're all gone. Again, I can do this anywhere I want. I can take two responses and move them anywhere I want at the same time. So, in review, what we need to do is make sure that we are on the select tool. We want to make sure we go to the words or the object we want to move and press left click. Once we have those uh, intersecting lines, we know we can left click and move this anywhere we want. We know to stop moving it. We move it outside where it becomes the cursor again with the arrow and press the left uh, uh, button and uh, we have moved it. So, we'll be ready now to uh, participate in uh, doing different things when I ask you to do them to uh, rank responses as we do the constructive responses. Thanks a lot.